Hey everyone, Paul the Trombonist here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the trombone the best way possible. Now, some of my subscribers may know how to clean the trombone, but you're gonna to wanna to check out this video because I'm sure there's some things in here that you haven't heard before. So stay tuned. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to wipe down the slide first, get off all the excess lubricants like this, just get it cleaned off, it's going to make your life better. So we'll do that and then you're going to take the instrument apart, okay? And take it apart, get it in all the different pieces, you don't need to take this tuning slide off, but you're going to take this off, you're going to take this off, and you're going to take the outer slide off. Okay? You see this towel here? You can set it there so it doesn't damage it. Set it on a nice little towel, like that. Now, you're going to want to get the bathtub going. Some nice warm water, not too hot. Too hot will take off the lacquer if it's a lacquered instrument. So you just want it like lukewarm water. Okay, so we're gonna get it going like this. Now, this is your choice. You may use dish soap or you can just use the water. I like to use a little bit of dish soap because it gives it a nice little pleasant smell for a little while. Now, whatever dish soap you're gonna be using, that's how your instrument's gonna be smelling. So pick a dish soap that you like to smell. So this water's starting to get good. Put a little bit in, not much. Just a little bit. Just like, like that. That's it, you see that with one little scoopy. A little scoopy. We got the scoopy in. Now it's filling up with beautiful water that you love. Because I love it. That feels nice. You can do that too if you want. It kind of makes it a little more enjoyable while you're waiting for it to fill up. Now you don't have to fill it up all the way to get the whole instrument somewhere. Just a little bit. Not too hot. I know people where their lacquer's gotten stripped off by leaving it in the bath because it was too hot, so don't do that. Unless you're going for that look. If you're going for that look, then it could work for you. All right, it's going, it's going, it's going. I can already start to put some of these in here. So I'm gonna put the outer slide in here a little bit. I'm gonna put the inner slide in here a little bit. And then let's put this guy in there. Sometimes I do them separate, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna put them all on at the same time. But sometimes I like to do this section by itself and I deal with them at the same time in case there's not as much room, okay? Put them in there like that, all right? Yeah, this is getting good. Love it. Now it's really important to clean your instrument often. I've recently read some crazy stories about people that have gotten some trombone lung is what they've been calling it because there's a bacteria that's been getting in from it not being clean. And you may see some of the disgusting stuff that comes out. So I would say every other week if you can clean it, at the very least once a month. It, it depends on how much you're playing, but try to get in the habit of cleaning often. Okay, I'm gonna turn this thing off. Woo. Now you can hear me much better, right? I got this little thing here so you can hear me, but I hope this is a much better situation without the water. We don't like it too much. So you gotta let it soak for a little while. I'd say five to 10 minutes and then you can come back, okay? All right, now it's been five to 10 minutes. Thank you so much for doing that. You really didn't do much but watch, but you will be doing it soon. So this is a snake, you're gonna want a snake. I'm gonna have a link to all these products in the description if you need to know how to get them. Even the Dawn 
dish soap that I like to use. I'll put it in the description too. That way you don't have to search for it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. What's uh mean? I don't know. Okay, now look. This is important. This is the piece that gets the most dirty. This guy right here. This is the snake. You put it in here like this. <sighs> and then I pull it back up. And I love to look in there. And if you did a good job, you can see that there's not much stuff in there. Now, if you wait forever to clean your instrument, there's gonna be the most disgusting stuff coming out. Like I'm talking crazy, weird, green, fungus looking stuff that looks like it's like alive and like some kind of weird thing. I, I don't let my instruments get that bad or else, otherwise you would see that. Maybe I'll make a video like that and just to show you in the future what how bad it can get, but you don't want to look, make them look like that one because that's disgusting and I have almost vomited from looking at that. But you can see that some of the stuff, I can see actually some of the stuff is coming out there. Do you see it? Do you see that stuff? Some stuff's coming out. And that stuff could be getting in your lungs, getting in your body, making you feel not well. And also make your playing not well. We're cleaning it. I just like to have it go through once, you know, twice. I like to look at it. You know what else I do too? Because this isn't enough. It's really not. So you got to turn the water back on like this. And you got to make it go through it again. This is a little advice I would strongly recommend is to have it go right back through it again, you see? and have it come down a little more. Okay, it's looking pretty good in there. Turn off that water. Turn it off. Oh good, this is fun. Okay, now we got this part. This is the outer slide. I like to do this. Make it jiggle around in there. And then I go like this. Voila! Then I take this Where'd my snake go? Oh, don't fall in there, <laughs> man. Okay, get it. Okay, jeez. All right, see the snake? This is the fun part. Can you go like this? It's not gonna be able to go all the way through. It really isn't. So you just gotta go like this. Right where you feel it, the resistance, that's where you stop and you just kind of go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then you do the same thing on this side. Back and forth, 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 like this. Nice. Once that's taken care of, I put it back into the submerging under the water. Fill it up. You feel the bubbles going in there? And then I do that same old fun thing that I did before and I go wee just like that. Okay, good. Now this part you can't really clean it the same way. Just a, uh, like a little bit on this side. Like this. Just tell it where it stops. Do you see it come up? I do. And then I go like this. Yeah, you can make it go all the way through. Some people say don't do this, but I do it. Why not? You can do it, do it. Okay, great. Just let it soak in there. We're good to go on that part, okay? Now we drain it. Drain the soap. Drain in the soap, drain, oh, don't forget about your mouthpiece. This is also important. So you take this mouthpiece, and then we, we have a special tool for the mouthpiece. This is the uh, little mouthpiece brush. I put that in there too. And then I just go like this one. 
Oh yeah, that one needed cleaning. I'm not even gonna show you what's coming out of that thing. I do this all the time too. I must have been playing this mouthpiece a lot. Yeah, that's disgusting. All right, so now it's rinse time. Rinse time. All right, mouthpiece is rinsed, clean. Now that towel we were talking about, you start setting the stuff on the towel. Now, I'm gonna rinse them all out now, get all the soap off. I fill it up all the way and I rinse it out. Okay, good. Now this piece, the outer slide, let's take care of it. So you cleaned it out with this. Now this is done, it's dry, and you set it in there. Now you gotta rinse off the other ones as well. So you're rinsing this guy off. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. Rinse it, rinse it, rinse it. Rinse it on the insides. Okay, now that should be rinsed. And then I like to do this one for extra cleanliness. I took the lead pipe out. Some trombones can do that. So I just got it in there like that. Now it's super clean. Woo, that's good. If your cleaning rod's too big, it's not gonna work. And, and if, it's, there's, if it's not going in easily, then don't even mess with this. This is only if your bore size is bigger than the cleaning rod. This one, do this one. Extra good. Extra good. Okay, now you gotta take this thing, the washcloth, and you gotta dry it off. You set it down there. Cool. Now we rinsed off this thing. Gotta make sure it's completely dry in there with this thing. Good. Okay, great. So now, all your stuff is clean. It's gonna make you play better. It's gonna feel better. It's gonna be healthier. It's gonna smell better. So let's put it all together. Let's see how it goes. Now you got it like this. Oh, feeling good. You got it like this. You got it like this. Now, it feels better, it feels cleaner, and I'm not gonna get sick from it, which is the main thing. Thank you so much for watching. I like to thank all my patrons. I like to thank everyone that watches these videos. If you haven't subscribed already, hit, hit the subscribe thing with the little bell to get notified when I do up, new uploads. I put up videos every week, most likely on uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays, with some in between, actually. It's all over the place, so you just gotta kind of Stay tuned to the Paul the Tremors channel. My debut album, Journey to the World, that charted on Amazon bestseller list, is out. People are telling me that they really enjoy this trombone album. If you haven't heard it already, you can check it out. Links in the description. Everyone's asking about the equipment I'm using, how I recorded this, this stuff, all this stuff. Put it in the description as well. So that's it. It's Paul the Trombone is signing off. Now you remember. Now you remember. Now you remember. <laughs>